Hola amigos, welcome to my kitchen. This is Fátima and here you will find recipes of my country of origin, Spain. Bienvenidos a mi cocina. Yo soy Fátima y aquí encontrarás recetas de mi país de origen, España. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and ring the bell so you get notified when I upload every video. I upload every single Thursday. Si te gustan este tipo de recetas, por favor suscríbete a mi canal. Gracias. I'm going to share with you, because it's autumn, you know, it's November, and here we have now all the shops are full of pumpkin, squash, or calabaza, how we say it in Spanish. It's getting a little bit cold, so it is time to make a cream. That is a soup or cream, and it's with pumpkin, and it's very simple to do. If you want to conserve pumpkin, you just peel it and cut it and freeze it in a Ziploc bag in your freezer, and that will keep it. So maybe in January, you would like to have some pumpkin soup, and you have already, you know, cleaned and cut it in your freezer. Let's start to making it. As always, all the ingredients for this recipe will be listed at the end of this video. Uh, para español, todos los ingredientes estarán listados en la, en la parte baja de este, la descripción de este video. If you like any product that you see in my videos, like the hand blender, you can check out my Amazon links below in my description box. For that recipe, we are going to need a few ingredients. Of course, pumpkin. I, you know, you can buy the pumpkin and peel it. That, that is the hard part to peel the pumpkin. Or even in some supermarket, you can find a tray with a pumpkin already cubed and cut it. Um, but one thing is try to cut the pumpkin in the same sizes. Here I have one pound of pumpkin. And of course, we are going to use olive oil. And today I'm going to use leek. You can, uh, leek is more, it's like an onion, but it's softer than the onion. And I like for creams to use leek. If you don't like leek, or if you want to add onions, feel free. Or if you want to substitute the leek completely and, you know, put onions. With the leek, you have, because they have so many layers, and they can be a little bit dirty. I recommend you to wash it, how I show it now. We just cut wow. the um, lick. So I make some cuts, you know, like this, and then just slice it. I have here two licks. Most of the part is the white part. Now we are going to start heating up our oil. I'm just going to put, you know, just to cover the bottom and put in medium heat and we are going to fry the leeks until they are soft. I like to fry before the leeks with olive oil. I think it gets more flavor to our cream. Half past, like five minutes since we start fry the leek, you know how it's getting soft. So now I'm going to add the pumpkin that I have. As I told you, it's peeled, you know, it's uh, calabaza, pumpkin, squash, and you know, try to cut it more or less in the same uh, size, so they will cook more or less at the same time. Now, what I'm going to add is water. I'm doing with water. Feel free to use, you know, um, a stock, chicken stock, veggie stock. What we are going to do is to try to cover, you know, the pumpkin. And now I'm going to add some salt to the pumpkin. And I have here a veggie cube. I'm going to put it because, you know, I think it gives more flavor, but as I said before, feel free just to do it with water. We just leave it. I'm going to low a little bit the, the heat. It has been like half an hour, and I think the pumpkin is already. You know, you have to, that is depend of the pumpkin, how thick are the pumpkin, you know, but I think my pumpkin is ready, you can see. Okay, our pumpkin is done. And now what we are going to do is the hand blender. You know that I use a lot, if you are 
following me in my channel I use the hand blender a lot if you don't have it you feel free to use a regular blender but I think that is easier so what I'm going to do is just to blend all my soup and make it in a creamy okay our cream is finished don't you think that this was very easy very you know it's very smooth you have to try it before you know we plate it need a little bit more of salt you know i didn't put much and also i'm going to put some black pepper i didn't put any spice at all but you can feel free because i wanted like how it is like this plain but feel free to use, you can put ginger, you can put thyme or any other uh, spice that you like, we are going to plate. This plate can be plated in different ways, you know, and I think the presentation is the key sometimes for the food, you know, the food they say they can, you know, you eat by the eye, how is it presented. So I'm going to show you two ways of presenting. For every day, or if you have a, formal, a normal dinner, you know, you just have a bowl and you can serve it, you know, you put it in the bowl and you can uh, add some croutons if you want, you know, some herbs, you know, the one that you use, a touch of cream. And also for a fancy dinner or, you know, you have a buffet and you want now for this, the holidays and you want to be more fancy, you have like a small glass, you, you know, we call that a Spanish achato or a cup or a small, you know, a nice thing, a small that you have. And so we just put a little bit of our pumpkin cream on top and and then we can put some seeds you know that is a pumpkin seed we can put some a touch of cream and don't you think the presentation is wonderful and your you know that is a really easy cream a pumpkin cream to see how it is you know it's so good it's a smooth it's creamy and you know if you like the pumpkin because i didn't use any more spices and the pumpkin with the leek they make you know and the olive oil is like a, it's so creamy so smooth it's so wonderful and also the good thing also you can because i didn't use any cream anything you can freeze it so that will be perfect hope you have enjoyed my recipe of today um this is a very simple winter autumn recipe and for the uh, holidays that is coming around the corner so let me know if you have tried and you know i upload every single thursday and thank you so much for all the subscribers i'm amazed how the channel is growing so thank you to all of you and i hope to see you soon bye bye I see you.